Without a doubt, I grow a ton of my veggies in fabric grow bags. And honestly, it's getting to be more and more every season. Fruit crops, root crops, vegetables and greens, you name it, these bags can grow it. Coming in many different sizes and colors, fabric grow bags have been available for quite some time now. Although recently, they seem to be taking the garden world by storm. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms, and I love container gardening as much as anybody. Ever since I started gardening seriously over two decades ago, growing in pots and containers has been a vital part of the process. No crop is off limits, and every year I find something new to try. Today, let's look at some of the benefits of growing in pots and containers, specifically these fabric grow bags. For me, they've been a total game changer, and I can't envision a growing season without them. This video has been made possible by the good folks at Lungar Plant Grow Bags. In my short time with them, these fabric pots are a cut above the rest. Heavy duty, non-woven fabric, reinforced durable handles for those heavy harvests, and double stitching on all the seams. Sturdy, well-made, and can even be washed at the end of the season for you to reuse year after year. Find out more about the Lungar Plant Grow Bags in the link below. Container gardening has long had its place in backyard gardening. And apartment and patio farmers have relied on them almost exclusively to achieve their harvesting goals. Clay, plastic, ceramic, and now fabric, all shapes and sizes to fit the needs and space of every grower. But as the new kid on the block, fabric grow bags come with a unique set of benefits. I got six for you today, and the first of those is portability. All containers can be moved. Sure, with enough effort and determination, why not? But most don't come with actual handles. Let me tell you, when you get up past seven or even 10 gallons, those pots start getting pretty heavy. On top of that, moist soil and plants weigh a ton. Add in a giant clay or ceramic pot, and unless you're Hercules, well, they can be impossible to move. Fabric grow bags, however, well, they don't add in any extra weight. And when you couple in those nice handles, they're just infinitely easier to move around. Our next benefit comes from the fabric itself, and that's breathability. Instead of an impermeable, suffocating, rigid plastic or ceramic, fabric grow bags allow for air exchange between the outside world and the roots contained within. This greatly increases the plant's metabolic rate underground, and your crops are going to grow noticeably faster, noticeably stronger. Which also plays into our third benefit, in that the fabric grow bags don't heat up like traditional pots do. In direct sunlight, plastic and other rigid pots can reach scorching temperatures, literally melting the plants inside. But because of the nature of the material, that simply doesn't happen with our fabric grow bags. Without the stress of such temperature extremes, the plants are happier and in turn grow better. Our fourth benefit of fabric or cloth grow bags is that they're super easy to store. At the end of the season, they can be emptied, washed if you're so inclined, folded up, and put away until next spring. Once you truly dive into the world of container gardening and graduate to possibly dozens of pots, this benefit really begins to shine. These last couple of benefits are the two big ones for fabric grow bags, and the first of those is air pruning. In a traditional pot, roots are going to grow outwards hit the edge of that container, turn 90 degrees, and continue on growing. Initially, that's okay. But left too long, those roots are going to wind themselves up so tight, so dense, that the plant becomes what's known in the industry as pot bound. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what plant it is, what crop it is, being root bound is not good. In extreme cases, the plants will eventually choke themselves out to the point where repotting isn't even an option. Severely root-bound plants won't be able to extend their roots into the free spaces of the soil, 
even when the constraint of the pot is removed. Starvation and drought quickly ensue, and in those cases, the plant dies. Grown in fabric bags, however, the roots grow outwards just like in a regular pot, but because the edge is so breathable, those roots, the tips dry out, and they prune themselves. It's really quite amazing. The tip of that root, the apical meristem, it caps itself, stops growing, and instead chooses to branch out in all directions. This leads to a healthier root system and remarkably healthier plants as well. It's quite effective. And for your big root growers like peppers and tomatoes, well, it's a game changer. And lastly, our final benefit of growing in fabric grow bags is the drainage. On all sides, all fronts, grow bags shed excess water with ease. Look, nothing is going to kill your container crops more than overwatering and soggy anaerobic conditions. Being able to freely drain water is huge in ensuring that the plant only has access to what the soil can hold. Yes, this does result in more frequent watering sometimes, but the plants are much healthier as the oxygen to moisture ratio in the soil is much more favorable. Plus, one trick to combat the increased need to water is to do it from below. Sit the grow bag in a tub of water for a few hours, allowing the soil to sponge up as much water as it can hold. It doesn't get any easier than that. Fabric grow bags really do feel like a step up in container gardening. Movable, breathable containers that don't heat up in direct sunlight and that are easy to store once the season is over. Add in the fact that your plants won't become root bound and that they get to enjoy perfect drainage means that fabric grow bags and your favorite crops are a match made in heaven. If you haven't already, give fabric grow bags a try this year, especially if you're going to be container gardening anyways. I really think you're going to see some or all of these benefits, and when you do, you're never going to look back. Hey, thanks for tuning in guys, happy gardening, and I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.